Born with a congenital disorder of his lower legs, commonly referred to as clubfoot, Rob Koschel never let it slow him down as his personal determination and fortitude, combined with his incredible love for sport, allowed him to sprint onto the Western track and field team as a freshman in 1974. Watching the Mustang football team work out from the track at J.W. Little Stadium, the all-round athlete out of London Oak Ridge High School came to the realization that he had the talent to become a Mustang football player. Starting training camp in 1975 as a wide receiver, Cochelle suffered a fractured jaw in an exhibition game, missing the opportunity to win himself a spot. This minor setback proved fortuitous as his move to defensive back led Rob to securing a spot on the Mustangs. Learning all the different positions in the secondary, Cochelle's incredible athleticism would soon shine on the grass at J.W. Little Stadium. Head coach Darwin Simodia called Koschel one of the most talented athletes to put on a Mustang uniform. He could and did do it all. He was a big play player who led by example. The big play moniker never became more true than on October 30th, 1976, when the Mustangs met the Windsor Lancers in the West Division semifinal. Down 13 to five going into the fourth quarter, the Stangs rallied back to tie it up at 13 all. With seven minutes to go in the game, Koschel fielded a Windsor punt at his own 24-yard line and raced 86 yards for the game-winning touchdown. The victory put the Mustangs on a roll, which would see them win the Yates Cup the following week. The first annual Forest City Bowl in a decisive win over the UBC Thunderbirds, and finally, the 1976 College Bowl, where they captured the Vanier Cup for the third time in Mustang history over the Acadia Axemen and their vaunted passing attack. Rob Koschel, the 5'11", 175-pound defensive back and punt returner, had established himself as a premier player in Canadian college football. A gifted defensive player with great instincts, his foot speed and field vision made him a dangerous punt returner, feared by opponents across the land. The 1977 Mustang squad went on to another miraculous run, and despite an injury-plagued season for Cochelle, his presence helped the Sangs capture another Yates Cup, repeat as Forest City Bowl champions, and become back-to-back -back College Bowl champions, establishing Mustang football as the most dominant program in the country. Cochelle's talents did not go unnoticed by the Canadian Football League. He became a second-round draft choice in the 1978 draft by the Calgary Stampeders. He started at inside safety for the Stamps in his first year and would play three seasons in Calgary on some very talented teams that, unfortunately, could never get past their nemesis and eventual breakup champion Edmonton Eskimos. An unfortunate motorcycle accident resulting in a shoulder injury would bring an end to Cochelle's professional football career. When remembering Rob Cochell on the football field at Western, Coach Darwin Simodiak said Rob's spirited and inspirational play earned him the respect of his Mustang teammates and coaches. Indeed, his leadership skills, both on and off the field, provided a benchmark for the outstanding leaders that the Western Mustang football program has produced throughout the years. Rob Cochell, a Mustang legend.